Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ferox and it's the end of a very long day and I am finally sitting down to open these pin packages which is a little self-indulgent but it's for my birthday so I figure I'm allowed. They're all from independent creators but I can't actually remember what I've ordered from whom which is half the fun for me because it's been for a couple of months but I will put links to everybody in the description below. So without further ado, I'm going to open them all up and remember what I got. So first up, this is from, from Vellum. And I think they have a Kickstarter going on at the same time. Isn't that just pure cat? That's lovely. I'll come back to that in a second because I know. Look at this gorgeous greyhound. He's so energetic. Now, I love greyhounds. A greyhound would probably be my Patronus. And he's really, really cute. He has an excellent little face on him. And really classic medieval look. But that's not all I got from this one. I have a Snicken. What is a Snicken? Oh, a sn Clearly a Snicken is a snail chicken. And that's really shiny actually. That's super nice. That's definitely going on the jacket. Now, this series was made from doodles in medieval manuscripts, I believe, which means some creative soul drew this and this is all that's really remaining of them in history. And I think that's a really good legacy for them. Uh, because how can you top Snicken? There should be one more. Ah, oh, yes. This little dragon. This poor creature has its tail in a knot. And I had to get this because it reminded me of one of my most embarrassing moments in vet school in pathology, where we were doing gastrointestinal pathology and I was presented with an esophagus and asked what is the first thing you see that is wrong with this esophagus and it had been tied in a knot because it was from an abattoir and obviously that hadn't happened before death but it was the first obviously wrong thing with it so that's what I said and I looked like an idiot and now I've commemorated that forever <laughs> so that looks like there's lovely little stickers in there which I don't remember ordering but stickers are good trash bag get off the table cats how do I get you open nicely is a lovely note. I don't know if the sticker was a bonus or if I ordered it, but it feels like a good waterproof one. You can probably go on a drink bottle at work. Thank you, George. Now, this one at least labels where it's from. So doodle cats, which shouldn't be much of a surprise for what it is. We have trash bag, you better be good over there. 
a ginger cat in a little lion hat. I do have a little lion hat for Wonka, but he absolutely refuses to wear it and we call it the unhappy hat. But I wanted something to represent the boys and so I thought that was pretty good for him. It doesn't express all of his uh, lack of grace or the screaming, but that's pretty good. It is a very nice shiny pin with a rubber back and looks like it's really good quality to me. But I can't get one for Wonka without trash bag and trash bag is simply perfect in every way. So he's got a little pin with a heart to match because he's, I'm not supposed to have favorites, but I, I probably have a favorite. Uh, this one, I don't remember who it is. Oh, that's from a Kickstarter. So that's a spirit and an astral raven. So the whole thing was that you had astral animals, which were all this sort of glitter, and I'm not opening it because the glitter will go everywhere. Or you had glow-in-the-dark ones of the same design. So that's matching ravens. Which is very nice. The glitter actually has rainbow all through it. So the metal is rainbow and then glitter on the inside, which is a really nice effect. Very detailed. And a bonus sticker. both agree. I don't remember who you are, but we'll find out. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, this is two pins from the Grumpy Unicorn. And they're watership down if you don't recognize them. We have El Herrera and the Black Rabbit of Inlay. Now, Watership Down, that old movie, has a real reputation for being kind of gory or too much for children. But I saw it when I was 12 at a sleepover and I loved it. I had no idea what it was. Maybe I'm just that sort of kid, or I was. Might have traumatized some of my friends, but it's certainly been influential. And now I have a matching pair of rabbits to go with it. But, uh, I do like the things that kind of merge normal, natural, realistic things with the fantastic. And the spirit animals do that. The medieval menagerie does that. And Watership Down definitely did that. I don't remember who this is either. But... Oh, yes, I do. That is a lyric and the mask from Jim Henson's The Labyrinth, As the World Falls Down, which again, merging that real and fantastic. The movie dated a little bit, but it is a classic and I do still enjoy it. And it's really nicely creepy the more you watch it. Now, the last two are from Greer Stubbers, from which I have many pins. Now, you, this is the Micro Raptor. I was curious to see what a 3D pin would look like. That worked really, really well. So it's a fossil, but the outline is done in colors uh, for real feathers that these creatures had. Microraptor had flight feathers on its back legs as well, if I recall correctly. And this one looks like it belongs in some stained glass window somewhere. I don't know why bones are adorable, but this one's adorable. 
They're definitely my colours. And the 3D effect really works. A little bit creepy, a little bit cute, but good science. And last but not least, this should be a mutant bundle. Oh, the pin's fallen off, or the clasp. Oh, I was looking forward to this, but this appears to be a perfectly normal horse, uh, with nothing super different or unusual about it. Cute little face. It will possibly eat all of my other pins if I put it on my jacket, but we will definitely give it a go. You are well worth the wait. It only arrived two days ago, so I've been trying to avoid spoilers for this whole egg adoptable thing where you don't know what they look like before you get them. And this is our perfectly ordinary bird. Certainly cute. <laughs> Looks like it's going to grow up to be a good friend. Ah, oh, that's the glow-in-the-dark Hella. Um, I had the original one that didn't glow in the dark with shipping errors, but I really wanted a glow one. So now I've got her. And our last one is a perfectly ordinary flower, which is definitely not a face-hugging monstrosity at all. So yeah. Those are my new pins, and I will add probably half of them to the shirt. See you next time.